Hi everyone, we have another episode for you today and this one is actually a video episode so if you want to pause and go to YouTube, you can do that. But if not, here we go. We're going to talk about vowel movements, vampires, and Hawaii. Ooh, I can't wait. And welcome to 10K Dollar Day. I'm Lulu Picard. And I'm Allison Burns. That's right. This is the comedy podcast about imaginary luxury travel. And this is a video episode. Believe it or not, you guys, we actually got together during the pandemic in a very safe way, which if you aren't watching, if you're listening in your car right now, you should probably, when you uh, are in a safe space, actually go to YouTube and watch this so that you can see our setup. Um, I'll go ahead and describe the setup because I was very nervous Mm -hmm. coming to see Allison Mm -hmm. because she works with children Mm -hmm. and children are dirty. Yes. Just in their bodies, not in like their minds. (laughs) That was such a weird thing to say. That was so weird. (laughs) Uh, I'm so sorry I said that. (laughs) And because we're we're going YouTube, there's no cutscenes. There's no cutscenes. Okay, so I said, you know, if we're going to do this, we have to make sure the studio is really safe because I'm paranoid, blah, 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 blah. So we do. On my side of the barrier, which we'll talk about in a minute, I have cleaning wipes. You can see that. I have some hand sanitizer. I have a stress relief candle because I have been burning it the entire time we've been working because I'm stressed. Um, And some gloves, just in case. You know, just in case I need that. Oh, and apparently my phone with the screen on. So that's always good. We'll just put that here. (laughs) And uh, I've got my lipstick, which I'm very excited about because this is the first day since March 14th that I have worn a real lip. You're welcome, America. (laughs) And in between us... (laughs) Is plexiglass that is less dirty than I thought. (laughs) (laughs) I know, when you touched it, I was like... (laughs) <laughs> it might break. <laughs> yeah, guys, we have plexiglass that is uh, like rigged on to the tables by whatever this is. Clamps? A clamp and a piece of plywood. And pixie dust. And pixie dust. Um, yeah, and on my side, I'm safe too. I got a Diet Coke with me. Choose your friends wisely, everybody. <laughs> And they'll get you through the pandemic, I guess. But, uh, you know, we are so glad you're here. Yes. And we are at episode 134. Yes, we are. So that's super exciting. Mm-hmm. And this is our full episode. So we're glad that you're here. And again, if you're listening to us in your car or while you're doing the dishes or whatever, maybe check us out on YouTube now that we are releasing this. True. Now, if you're here, that means that you are here for the Imaginary Luxury Comedy episodes. On Saturdays, we also release guest features, Mm -hmm. bonus interviews. And, of course, we have our 10-minute daily happy that goes out every single day. So thank you to all of you if you're joining us for everything. Or if it's, you know what, if you just need need us a couple times a week, we're okay with that, too. Yeah. You do you. Yeah. You do you. Good vibes, guys. Good (laughs) vibes. Only good vibes. Uh, Non-logo shirt. Everybody, <laughs> non-logo shirt. Okay. <laughs> but T- all the product placement. <laughs> <laughs> Today, when we got here, um, for a second, Allison's littlest child was here. And it was very sad because she got really excited when she saw I me. Know. And she was like, <gasps> and I had to tell her, I, I can't hug you, but I'll give you an extra big hug next time. And she was like, okay. And then she just kept standing really close to me. And I was like, you have to stand farther. She said, how far? I said, six feet away. She goes, how far is that? I said, you have little feet, so you have to stand 12 feet away. (laughs) And I made her count them. (laughs) She walked into the corner. But there you go. But we're safe. We haven't done this in so long. I'm like, I feel a little rigid. I'm Um, kind of like really still and like, I don't know how to act on camera all of a sudden, which is really, like, not normal for me. Huh. Guys, I'm fine. (laughs) I'm going to get there. That's great. (laughs) By minute 45, Allison (laughs) will be the most natural actor you've ever seen. (laughs) 
<laughs> and my lipstick will be gone. Oh, so okay. that's all happening. Yeah. Okay. So before we go to obsessions, mm-hmm. I just want to say a really quick congratulations to Bad Right Breast, <gasps> the podcast that launched this last week with one of our bays, Lori Brown Kindred, mm-hmm. as the host and creator and all around storyteller. It's her story of how she, well, it's not even a story. It's kind of of in real time but also involving past stories and future stories of her battle with cancer and other cancer survivors as well and she's put a lot of thought into this and way more thought than we put yes. into our podcast and we're so proud of her so that joins everyday thin places as the second 10k bay podcast yeah we secretly have a network we do it's a secret network in fact they don't even know about it until now that's that's what's happening. So yeah. congratulations to Lori Brown Kindred of Bad Right Breast and Rachel Gallagher of Everyday Thin Places. If you are a bay, please subscribe to them. It will help them so much. Mm-hmm. It, just get their downloads up and share them with friends. Everyday Thin Places is based on Rachel's work as a hospice nurse. So it talks about the thin places between. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That worked for me. <laughs> it was good. How are you feeling in front of that I'm camera? I'm so awkward. I feel like I don't know. I don't know how to act. I hope all of you take that clip out of context <laughs> and just send them to <laughs> casting directors <laughs> all over the country. <laughs> Please. For me. Oh. Okay. Let's go to obsessions. Okay. Allison Burns. Yes. What is your obsession? Okay. I think I mentioned this on the daily at one point. Again, we talk every day now and <laughs> record it. So I feel like anything we talk about, you guys are going to be like, been there, done that. Um, but you know how I got the Gordon Ramsay channel on my TV? Yes. Okay. Well, my obsession is the fact that I never used to just turn on the TV when I was like folding laundry. I wasn't that person. I would always be like, okay, I got to find a show on Netflix. But now I can just literally turn it on because it's preset. So I turn on my TV when I'm just doing anything and I just, Gordon's there. And he like, it's old reruns of different shows. It's so great. There's enough Gordon Ramsay content. For a channel. For a whole channel. Yeah. There's so many shows. So many. Back episodes. I've seen them all, but it's so great to come back to them. It just makes me really happy. And I signed up to get his text messages. So now he's saved in my phone. He sent me a 4th of July message. I always respond just like, hoping that maybe one day he'll actually check it even though it's probably some intern somewhere but it makes me happy when because I saved his picture like his pictures in my phone so it makes me happy when I get a text and it's like oh Gordon Gordy Gordo calling me (laughs) in case you're wondering what it's like to be this one's best friend she texts me every time she gets (laughs) a text from the Gordon Ramsay number with a screenshot (laughs) she goes Gordon just wished me happy fourth of July (laughs) like okay you're like great (laughs) She just <laughs> likes it at this point. She's like, I can't I be bothered. I do. I acknowledge it, and then I move on. Yeah. So my obsession is poetry. And also the fact that that wasn't me that made that noise. Man. Let me double check mine, by the way. You guys. You guys. Uh, All right. Wait, my is your, it's really poetry? Yeah. No, that's good. Judgy. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not judging. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not judging. It was just such a weird transition. So... I it wasn't. <laughs> my transition was, well, my obsession is. <laughs> and then the next thing I said was actually my obsession. It didn't sound like that in my head. Oh, okay. You're still in Gordon Ramsay land. That's okay. Why. Okay, my obsession is, in fact, poetry. Ooh. Don't. You're right. You don't know how to. <laughs> 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 oh. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was... <laughs> It, it's been fueled by a few things. First of all, we have a 10K Saturday coming up with poet Andrea Hope, mm-hmm. who is also a bay and who also has a podcast. Yeah. We'll talk about that later. Um, and just reading her poetry and kind of getting into her head a little bit while we talked. But also because I've started teaching with poetry uh, children's monologues. And so I've been into finding more and more poems every single day. And I have rekindled my love for it i read them out loud to oh my i'm such a nerd she read one to me i did actually via zoom that's right everybody because that's how weird i am <laughs> <laughs> like i was like hey, it we're was on cute zoom. let me read you a poem yeah and then i showed her the pages yeah like it was Harold and the purple crayon yeah okay let's move on uh wish list 
I wish that I had um, a massage chair. But here's the thing. You know those, like, big ones that it go The one at the pedicure place? Yeah, mo- yeah, kind of like that. But the one even that, like, your feet can go in, it massages the whole body. The one at the airport. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. The one you have to pay, like, per minute. But here's the thing. I don't like the way they look. So I wish I had a massage chair that could, like, push a button and it became a massage chair. And then when you pushed a button, it just became a regular, like, cute chair. Oh, yeah, that totally would be amazing. Yeah, that's my wish list. Please make that happen. Roger saying, you make every, you can create things. <laughs> make that happen. <laughs> She's talking about Roger saying, our bay who just started a paddleboard. I'm just going to spend the entire <laughs> first half of this podcast promoting <laughs> our listeners' new projects that they've told us about yeah. because we're happy about it. So check out Roger Seng's new inflatable paddleboard company called Stoked. Yeah. Paddle Company. Uh, it's on Kickstarter right now, but you can find it if you just Google Stoked Paddle Company and mm-hmm. they're inflatable paddle boards. Yeah. I hear they're great. I hear they're great too. And I, I mean, he created that. So that's why I just, I'm going to start throwing his name out anytime we want something created. Yep. So thanks, Roger. And while you're at it, can you please invent my wish list, which is an automatic bathing suit dryer? An automatic bathing suit dryer. Like an actual thing you put your bathing suit in and it... That would be great. Even better Uh would be the things they have like at theme parks that have water rides where you can stand in it and then you're dry. Yeah. Because when you're getting in and out of a pool, you don't like being wet in between. It's cold. You go in the house. Yeah, that's true. Air conditioning. You stop and you eat and you're like, oh, let me get Mm -hmm. out of this stuff. Then you don't want to get back in this stuff and then your bathing suit's wet. Yeah. So... That's what I would like, an automatic bathing suit dryer. Get on that, Roger. Thank you, Roger. Okay. Okay. So now it's time for (gasps) 10K K Days. Uh, You can tell we've been recording all day because we were in sync. Were were we? Mm, Yeah. Oh. So you can't act. Okay. Uh, (laughs) <laughs> okay, <laughs> you or me? Um, I uh, I'll go first. Okay, okay. I am going to a place that uh, a, a a place we've already been technically. Oh, but different things here. So I'm going to Lai or Lei, Hawaii. Oh, it's on it's on Honolulu Island. Lei, like the one you wear? L A I E. Lai. 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 Probably. I think you pronounce every single. Vowel in, in the Hawaiian. Hawaiian. La'ie. But oh, I'm I like guessing. that. So la'ie hawa'ai. <laughs> Hawaii. Or hawa'ai. Hawaii. Hawaii. But there's so many, there's two eyes. If you can. Hawaii. 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 Oh. La'ie Hawaii. Uh, let's uh, move on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> so the reason I picked this is because I found an Airbnb that is one of the top 10 most expensive Airbnbs, like, ever in the world winner and it's this it's on the north shore of oahu Ahu, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it always surprises me oahu oahu beachfront yeah okay beachfront <laughs> <laughs> this is a long <laughs> episode um but here's the thing it's not just one place it's six villas on that you rent are you renting all six all together that's how it comes there's no, it's called Tiki Moon Villas, and you just get the whole place on Airbnb, okay? Um, so, okay, I like that a lot. So, it's six little villas, or bungalows, they give you both words, and it's nestled within 32,000 square feet. That's enormous. Uh-huh, and it's right on the ocean. I'm talking the pictures are amazing, okay? So, there's uh, lots of different uh, things there, like they have six kitchens, Within, well, I guess there's six bungalows, so that makes sense. I mean, the six bungalows are completely separate from each other. From each other. They're complete different buildings? Yes. Oh, that's awesome. In fact, they describe them. So they have one called Ocean Sun. That's a one-bedroom, one-bathroom suite. They have a Cocoa Bungalow. They have a Bamboo 2, a Papaya 3, an Aloha Aloha Sunrise 3. They have all these, like, different names of them. Wait. Do they have Papaya 1 and Bamboo 1? Well, here's the thing. When I copy-pasted... I didn't see the one and twos. So I, I it's it's just a little confusing, but we're going to give you the link in the blog <laughs> and you can click on it. But I do know that it can sleep up to 31 people. Among the six. Among the six. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. They also have two large koi ponds. Koi. I, I, <laughs> I, I second guess myself. I know. But I, I know that word. And uh, they have these little tiny water vessel features, it says, inside the ponds, which are really cute. The picture I saw was cute. All right. So for two nights, $4,660. For two nights, 4000 for 31 people. Yeah. So think about it. If you had 15 couples, okay, that's only $310 per couple for but the two nights. But they have to share a villa with another couple. With a oh, few other possibly, couples. possibly because there are some of them. That it's a three bedroom. It's a three bath. OK, gotcha, gotcha. But still pretty inexpensive. When you think about if you invite all those people, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm I'm just inviting you. OK, <gasps> I was hoping when you said there were six and I might get my own bathroom and bedroom to myself. I got yeah. really excited. OK, so I'm bringing you guys. I looked up round trip flights from Orlando right to now. La Ia. How much? Um, Nothing. Let's go. Nothing. How much? A first class ticket. Yes, I'm ready. One thousand six hundred fifty six dollars. That's it. Round Everyone, trip. Round trip. Uh, mark this day. It is July twenty twenty, and I could go first class to Hawaii for a little over a thousand dollars. Yeah, like a a regular economy ticket, four hundred and fifty dollars from Orlando to Hawaii. Round trip. Oh, I I wish. The world wasn't burning around me, right? and I could take advantage of those flights. I know. I was okay. shocked. And but could you like buy it now? Yes. Or, like next year, and you think it'd be just as cheap? If if they're selling that date for whatever price, when you buy it, you lock in. Yeah. That see, price. I'm I'm gonna start. I'm gonna look because that's crazy. Okay. So the first thing we're gonna do, Lou, snorkel with turtles. <gasps> Okay. Okay. Super excited. So I found um, a little tour on TripAdvisor, and here's the thing: they say that they'll pick you up in their van, but we don't want to do that, right? No, no, okay. no. Okay. So we got a first class Mercedes Benz from Black Lane. Hey. So from our place to where they're gonna drop us off uh, is three hundred forty-three dollars and ninety-nine cents. It's okay. just you didn't rent it for the entire day. Oh, I think it takes us there and back. We're just going there and back. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, because we're going to go snorkeling at Mak mm, Makapu, Makapu'u, Makapu'u. I got it. Cool. Because double, double U, double U's, not a double U. <laughs> mm -hmm. And so we're going to go there, go snorkeling with the turtles. The pictures on TripAdvisor, breathtaking, stunning, oh, so wait. excited. Okay, after that. Quick snorkel at the spot, see the sea turtles. Oh, that TripAdvisor tour, even though we're not taking the bus, is going to cost us $261.98 to snorkel with the turtles. After that, we're going to go back to our villa. Because when you have six bungalows on a private island beach area, like you just want to be there. Hang out. So we're going to go there and have lunch. However, I hired a private chef. Her company is called That Girl Cooks. Oh, I, sure. I found her on Yelp. All five-star reviews, and a lot of the reviews had pictures, which were stunning, but they also always mentioned how willing she was to work with their budget. Everyone was like, I went to a ton of other places, and they told me no, or blah, 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 but this girl, that girl cooks, and she also that works with cooks. your budget. That girl negotiates. Yeah. Yeah. She's a cook for everyone. <laughs> okay. Um <laughs> So I think she's going to be pleasantly surprised when I tell her that our lunch budget is $1,000. For lunch? What do you think she would cook for well, $1,000? I think it's going to be really fresh seafood Yeah. because we're in Hawaii. Yeah. And I think um, great champagne. Yeah. Like like a good yeah. bottle of champs. Yeah. And then... Um, just a bathtub of caviar. Oh, oh, see, that's your fave. It yeah. is. So I don't know what she's going to cook, but she's going to be excited about it. Okay, so after that, we have our, our lunch. And I thought, let's have a massage therapist stop by. I obviously have massage on the brain. However, could not find any real prices, so I Googled what is the average price for an in-home massage. And it says it could cost anywhere between 100 to $130 an hour. So I doubled that. 260 for both of us Love to get it. an in-home massage. Now, I also thought, what else would I want? Because I did go to Hawaii a couple years ago. And one, uh, one thing I remember is that every place we were, whether it was the hotel or a local restaurant, 
they had the best entertainment. Every Wait, really? Singing, like singers, playing guitars, like everyone was so talented. Mm. Like I took video, I was like, your voice is the best voice I've heard. And then I'd go to another restaurant and the guy's sitting there and his voice was, it was just amazing. That's cool. So I decided we want to hire somebody to come sing for us yes. on our yes, we do. little beach. Yes, we do. So I found a guy. His name is Randy Allen. Oh, Randy Allen. Yeah. And so here's what I love, okay? I found him on Yelp. He writes, I understand that being a cover musician is not about me. I trust my best. Yeah, no, nope, that's not it. I try my best to read the audience and put together a repertoire from my 700 plus songs that you would enjoy in your moment. I like that, Randy I do too. Allen. That's very sweet. So what do you think he would he would read from us? Like if it was just two <gasps> girls, <laughs> <laughs> we're just sitting there and he had 700 dogs. Do <laughs> we can't cut. <laughs> that's that's a rule you made that no one else said was a rule okay. that we can't cut. He had 700 songs to choose from. <laughs> <laughs> what would our what would our songs be? Our cover songs that he would choose to sing. <laughs> they would be Um, I'm going to go with, uh, Dancing Queen. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> knowing me, knowing you, <laughs> I think, <laughs> I think there's room for Mama Mia. <laughs> <laughs> One more. <laughs> okay, the the last one is uh the last one is slipping through oog my <laughs> fingers. <laughs> okay. Well, I hope he knows those. Oh, that me would be too. awesome. Me um, too. I also love that he said he had his first playing gig in high school and since then he has made music his full time job. Since high school? Yeah. Randy Allen, I, I hope you're doing okay with this pandemic yeah me because too. that's really cool i know okay so i decided because he has 700 songs that we were going to offer him 700 dollars. works for me yeah so there we go all right after that you and i are going to get dinner and we're doing a private off-road sunset dinner how romantic <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Okay. So they pick us up and it says, as you cut through the jungle and cruise across open pastures in the glow of the sunset, you'll wonder how you arrived at such a beautiful place. Then you'll be treated to a locally catered dinner at our private lookout point, complete with a crackling fire and toasted marshmallows. I like that. After dinner, one of our guides will show you to the World War II historical sites and a hidden cave. How romantic. <laughs> Which part? <laughs> oh, it's going to be great. Okay. $288 oh. for that experience. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, next. Wow, this is romantic. Uh, we're going to go stargazing. Okay. Um, <laughs> but I realized... That um, I looked up places in Hawaii or in Honolulu to do this, and I realized our villa was perfect. Oh, really? Because it's like every place that you saw was on the outskirts, but our place on a map was actually farther away and, like, more secluded. So oh. I feel like you'd get a better look. So okay. instead, we need something to now view the stars. Yes. So I bought a high-powered telescope. Ooh. Do you know why I did it with an accent? Because it's called Southern Telescope. No, it's, uh, what is this from, okay? And you get on that bus every day looking at me through that high-powered telescope. I don't know, but <laughs> she shouldn't let him do that. <laughs> it's from Neil Simon's Star Spangled Girl. Oh, I'm so <laughs> sorry I didn't get that reference. I don't have, it's my fault, everyone. I apologize. I'm the bad actor. <laughs> I don't have tons of Neil Simon dialogue, just, and also <laughs> not Brighton Beach memoirs, <laughs> not Biloxi Blues, not one of those that gets produced all the time. Well, it's because that's just my go-to monologue. 
I didn't know that. Mr. Cornell. Okay. I've tried to be neighborly. I've tried to I take to it back. You're friendly. a great actor. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I got a Celestron. Yeah. It's the Astro Master. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that's funny. It um, is funny. It is. It says it's uh, a favorite first telescope for beginners. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Because because it's like durable? Well, uh, A, and also it's so easy to put together. It's like snap, click, and you're done. You have to put together telescopes? I believe so. Like wh- how? Like how in- I think it's like a watch. <laughs> you don't put together watches? No, like a watchmaker. Like the gears and the... There's no way that the that when you buy a telescope, you have to like install the lens. There's no way. I think you do. Also, you don't you you buy watches just made, right? Like they're done already. I mean, yeah. I mean, I've only had like an Apple Watch, and that things you do have to put the you can change out the the band the band. <laughs> yeah, okay. Sometimes that's hard. All right. Well, guess how much this Astromaster is. <laughs> <laughs> Six hundred seventy-four dollars and three cents. Really? Yeah. That's actually cheaper than I thought it was going to be. Well, it's a beginner's. Oh, that's true. And you have to put it together yourself. What yeah. Is this IKEA. Yeah, but it's just snap click. All right. So now I'm going to ask that girl that cooks. Yes. To make us a bomb dessert. Okay. Did we eat dinner? Yeah. Remember our private dinner? Oh, I forgot the romantic yeah. one. So I'm going to tell her out of the thousand dollars that we already gave her, like also do a dessert from that but i'm going to tip her an additional 156 dollars that's very kind of you and also very specific well of because a number. that means i'm done with my day mm-hmm. we had dessert and my total is ten thousand dollars yay and i got to go to hawaii yeah i actually think it's hawaii the w's or v's i think that is yeah. true and if it's not true then I did the spirit of Aloha show incorrectly for years at Disney World. <laughs> or should I say Disney World? <laughs> so <laughs> I'm going to San Marino, which is both the name of the city and the country. And get this, it's one of the smallest countries in the world, and it is completely surrounded by Italy. It's like a little country of its own no way. inside Italy. Oh, right. I could have sworn that was a place in California. It's also a place in California. Oh, okay, okay, gotcha. Yes. It is Europe's least visited country. Mm -hmm. It was founded in the year 301. Wow. That's how old it is. And they're so small that they compete in something I've never even heard of, which was the Small Nations Olympics. Oh. Did you know there's a whole other Olympics? Who's the other small nations? Ah, you know, Liechtenstein, mm-hmm. uh, Tuvalu in the French Polynesia Ooh. places, and um, Washington, D.C. Uh-huh. It's just a little topical humor for you. Anybody oh, listening in 2021 oh, I won't you. really. It's okay. All right, so... <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're really fascinating. They have a different calendar than everybody else because they consider their New Year's Day the day after their independence anniversary, which July is September 5th? 4. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's just America's Independence Day, not everybody's. But it's not even really ours, it's right? It's not even really <laughs> ours. <laughs> Check your facts, peeps. Check your facts. <gasps> okay, that's Find interesting. Find out when that declaration was signed by everyone and then also when people were actually independent. Okay, so... First of all, we're going to stay. I'm going to stay. You're not coming. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Spoke just soon. I had high, high hopes. <laughs> I'm going to stay in an Airbnb. I got the entire villa. It is really cute. Three bedrooms, two baths, pool, indoor fireplace, Ooh. and a washer dryer, which mm. is my favorite part of Airbnbs yeah. because it's always like, oh, I can do my laundry. $878. Total? Yes. Oh. That's cheap. I know it is. So get ready for some creativity out of this day. Okay. Okay. Breakfast time. I'm going to find a coffee pastry kind of breakfast. You know, one of those like European. Oh, give me a croissant and some hot chocolate. 15 bucks. Then I'm going to have a car on call for me. I went to Enrico Limousine Service in Italy or San Marino. Not really sure where they're based. I think San Marino for nine hours. 
they will give me a Mercedes S long for 700 euros. This also includes having a driver. Nice. So that's about 77 euros and 78 euro cents, whatever those are called. <laughs> <laughs> what are they called? Oh. Is it cents? Your eye? <laughs> Did you just make that up? Yeah. <laughs> um, Anyone know? Someone will put a comment on <laughs> the video. Uh, 77 euros and 78 uh, hundredths of a euro. Oh, right. So now I have to add five more hours because that was only a nine hour quote and I want 14 hours. Gotcha. So that's going to be 1,089 euros, mm -hmm. which equals in dollars. One thousand two hundred thirty-four dollars and twenty-seven. Ooh, that's a good price tag. I know. Okay, so good. Thank good, goodness, good. I have my car. Question. Yes. Since this is an island, it's not. It oh. is just in. No, it's completely surrounded by Italy land. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. I was like, how do you get to and from? The answer would be a bridge. I understand. Okay, so. <laughs> Stumpers out today, everybody. <laughs> so I want a passport stamp. Yeah. Of course, right? And in San Marino, you have to buy passport stamps. Oh. But you can buy them. You go to the tourist office, it's five dollars and sixty seven cents because it's five euros. So okay. five dollars and sixty seven cents. All right. This is where I was like, I gotta start spending money for real. Now, San Marino, I told you, is the least visited European nation. Uh-huh. There are 2 million tourists a year okay. that go to San Marino. That's about 5,479.5 tourists a day. So I can't afford to help all of these people. But for the next 1,000 tourists that come in after me, I'm going to pay for their stamp. Oh, that's so nice. So that cost me $5,670. <gasps> Whoa, way to think outside the box. Okay. couple of Museums in yeah. San Marino. The first one is the Vampire Museum. <gasps> Why? That's cool. I don't know. So I pulled up the website. I was like, oh, this will be an interesting thing. Uh, what could I do? I could get, like, capes. I could get garlic. I could, you know, what, what are the things I could build around that day? This website is terrifying. There, it's, it's just pictures of people dressed as scary things. It's like Halloween Horror Nights, but a museum website. Mm -hmm. And I said... No, <laughs> not even in a 10K day can I do that. But but people dressed up or just museum-like figurines? It's people dressed up. It looks like an ad for a haunted house. Oh. But it's the website for this museum. That's cool. So I'm going to hire someone standing outside the museum probably mm -hmm. to go through it and take video for me. Oh. And just show me what it looks like. Okay. And I'm going to pay this person $500 wow. to do that. There's another museum in, where am I? San Marino. That is the Museum of Torture. <gasps> Why? I what is this country? I don't know. I'm not going there either. But this guy just made another 500 bucks. So I'm also sending my uh, I'm not scared of anything person over there. And P.S. I did try to Google hire I'm not scared of anything. Like, just to see if there was someone who was like, hey, Craigslist, I'll I'm not anything. scared of anything. Yeah. You know, I'll do it. I couldn't find someone. Yeah. So some local or tourists who have already paid for their passport yeah. stamp is going to get to do this. So they're at the museum. Wait, I what's in that museum? The torture museum? Yeah. I think it's like stuff that they used to, to torture, torture people, people for years and years and years. <gasps> like Iron Maidens and the rack. Oh. Okay. Ooh. I don't want to. Yeah, that's crazy. I don't. I mean, it's I understand why it's fascinating, but also when you're around those things, people legit were tortured. Yeah. That's not good. That's not good. Yeah. To have around you, everyone. Okay. They're at the museum, and I'm like, cool. I'll come look at that video later. Just airdrop it to me. I'm gonna take my car. An hour and a half outside the city, which actually brings me to Italy. Okay. And I'm going to go to Bologna. 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 I think it is Bologna. But it's spelled Bologna. Well, it's spelled Bologna. But isn't Bologna spelled Bologna? Exactly. 
I'm glad we figured that out. We're s you're learning so much today, aren't you? Okay. I mean, we all now know a monologue from <laughs> Neil Simon. <laughs> so. Okay. So I'm bringing uh, a nice little charcuterie plate with me in my car. Nice. Because that's going to smell great. <laughs> uh, sausages, cheese, meats, olives, charcuterie plate. I want the best honey. I want the best cheese. Ooh, yeah. I want the best everything in that. So $300 yeah. I'm putting towards that picnic basket. But here's the thing. I started to look up Bologna. And it's beautiful, and there's lots of places to go and lots of things to do, and I don't want to burn it for a future 10K day. Oh, good. So I'm just going to tell all of you, I ate amazing things. I saw beautiful places. Cost me about 700 bucks. Okay. We will tell you what specifically I did or could do maybe in a future episode. All right. Then I'm back to San Marino. It is time to have dinner. I'm going to a place called, oh, yeah. Rigi, Rigi, R-I-G-H-I. I don't know how that's pronounced. Pronounced? I don't even know how that's pronounced. <laughs> I don't know how that's pronounced in Italian. And I put together a nice little menu for me because I spent way too much time going through their menu. So just know I'm getting, like, great stuff. <laughs> and it all centers around an Adriatic fish soup, which Ooh. I'm very excited about, and a cheese tasting, brownies with beer, and Tonka <gasps> broad beans. I don't even know what that means. Oh. And strawberry soup? Here's the weirdest dessert I found on their menu, but I couldn't tell if it was translation uh -huh. or just I'm not sophisticated enough to imagine what this is. Uh -huh. Strawberry soup. Mm -hmm. We can picture that, right? Yeah. Like a sh like a soft yeah. sherbet with sherbet. pea. What do you say? Sherbet. You, you say sherbet. Is it not sherbet? I also sometimes say sherbet. I think sometimes there's an R in it and some think sometimes there's not. Like literally written. I think really? sometimes there's an R in it and sometimes there's not. Oh. I think. But I I I also could be wrong. Okay. Okay. Yes, I can imagine the strawberry soup. Great. Next, on mm -hmm. top of that soup, yes, is what they're calling peas ice cream. Like P E A S. Mm. Right. That's where I went. Is this a translation thing or so fancy I can't even? But what else would peas translate to? Right. And then apple crumble, which doesn't really go with strawberry soup. I don't understand this dessert. I'll try it. Of course I would try yeah. it. I put it on my dinner. Okay, good. That's going to cost me $163.26, which brings my total. <gasps> I didn't make 10K, but I did make $9,966.20. Nice. Thank and you. And you made some tourists' day. I, I did. Yeah. And I made some locals' day, I think, too, if that's they've always right. wanted to go to that museum. Okay, so that's what we would do if we had $10,000 in La-I-A. La-I-A. la i la i la la Spell it. Dang it. L A I E. La 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 La I E. This place in Honolulu. That's true, and also San Marino, not in California. But if we had ten thousand dollars to give away in those two places, this is how we would do it. Allison. Yes, I found a place called Hawaii Health and Harm Reduction Center. Okay. That's yes. That's a lot. Yes. So their website is hhrc.org, and I love their slogan. It is reducing harm, promoting health, creating wellness, and fighting stigma in Hawaii and the Pacific. Okay? That's such a large mission. It is a large mission, but what they do is they serve the communities in Hawaii by reducing the harm and fighting the stigma of HIV, hepatitis, homelessness, substance use, mental illness, and poverty in their communities. That is such a big mission. Yeah, it's huge. But I cannot even tell you, this website's amazing. You can go to How to Help. They have outreach programs. They have clinical services. They have you know a place where you can just donate. And there are so many reviews that people have left that are that will just break your heart. They're like, this is the best organization. They saved my life. They just, people are, and it's, it's right on their website, just people who are just gushing about oh, them. And on Google, it. like people that gush on reviews about them. So check them out at hhrc.org. Nope, sorry, hhh. 
rc.org. You know what? The best way to do this is to go to our blog on yes, 10kdollarday.com. Mm-hmm. There will be a link there for all the places, everything that we've probably pris- mis- <laughs> pronounced. Pismernounced. <laughs> that should be a word. <laughs> Mispronounced will be there. Yeah. We are out of practice <laughs> doing this, everyone. I told you. I know. It's crazy. Um, where do I you know, find? You're getting better as an actor through it, and I'm <laughs> degenerating. I'm in taking. Front of you. I'm taking your energy. It's going to be equal later. You know, if we <laughs> average out to the same. <laughs> okay, so in San Marino, it was actually really difficult because San Marino is one of the richest countries in the world, oh. based on like gross domestic product per oh, capita. Right. Because it's so small. Because it's so small, and they actually have produced a surplus each year in the government budget for decades. Oh. I mean. Hey, okay. America, we don't know what that's like. No. That's like the first time in your 20s you meet someone your age and they're like, yeah, I've got a savings account. You're like, what? what? Yeah. Okay. So I could only find one charity. Literally could only find one charity. And it's actually a branch of a larger charity that happens to be in San Marino. Okay. And that charity is Hesperian Health Guides. We're going to have the link on the blog, of course, on 10kdollarday.com. And it is a nonprofit health information and health education source that supports individuals and communities in their struggles to realize their right to health. But here's a really cool initiative they have that I think is amazing. They have a digital resource center and a digital commons initiative, and they call it an open copyright policy because they believe that Health knowledge should be available to everybody. Mm -hmm. Like you shouldn't have to buy any of that or pay for any access. So through their initiative, they are always trying to find the most recent health news and digital technology to make sure that people around the world can always find information about health stuff. Very cool. Right? Yeah. So cool. So that's how we would give our money away in that place and this place. (laughs) But... We're going to talk to you real fast about our Patreon campaign. Yeah, if you guys go to patreon.com slash 10k dollar day, you can see a bunch of different tiers. And on those tiers, you can actually donate monthly to this podcast. So we now have nine podcasts a week, so you can get your fill. But if you'd like to help us out, you can go there. And for as little as $2 a month, you can help give to our podcast and help keep us going. There you go. And we love getting in touch with you, and we love it when you get in touch with yes. us. So thank you to everybody who's in emailing us at 10 day at gmail.com. A lot of you are participating in our Run Bay Run Challenge mm-hmm. where we're trying to do 10,000 community miles by Labor Day now. It used mm-hmm. to be Independence Day, but we need to stretch it a little bit, so yeah. that's fine. Thank you to everybody who's been um, emailing us. That is the best way to get the miles because we will not miss it. It might take us a week or so, but we will not miss it. However, some of you are also tagging us on Instagram and Twitter. We are trying to find those as much as we can if we miss it. If we don't respond to you or like it or something, post it again or email it to us again because life. (laughs) Okay, so (laughs) just, you know, life. Find us on Instagram, Twitter, at at 10K dollar day. Whoa, guys. And we would love to hear from you. However, let's just move to happies. Yeah. Allison Burns, what is your happy? I'm happy you're here. Oh. I get to see your face through a plexiglass. Through plexiglass. That That's works. Lovely. Um, I am happy that we just did a whole like six hours studio singing session. Mm-hmm. And three months of vocal rest is good. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's true. Because it was actually a lot of singing for one day. Yeah. So thank you vocal rest yeah and uh, that's it yeah that's it all right well thank you to everybody for being here if you're just listening to this please do check out the youtube because that way you can see how one person makes faces while the other person talks because we respect each other so much 10k dollar days produced by ash burns intro is by stan collins the 10k jingle is by rockwell and rose graphic art is by jacob McAllister. the 10k saturday voiceover is by charlie hume thanks to buzz sprout And we'll end this the way we end every episode with friends like us. Who needs amenities? That's amenities, but it's okay.